I love to travel. I love to explore. I love to eat. I love to meet with new ingredients. I love to meet with the people who cook for a living, who grow ingredients for a living. But at times, I meet with people who are integral part of what we do as chefs. On one such trip, on my way to Pampor, in search of saffron, I stopped at a place called Sempura. What is special here? Jhelum River, is it? No. These stones beckon me here. These stones are being converted into piece of art for chefs like me. Our traditional Indian cooking, there are many things that uh, we have where we uh, need grinding. And that grinding is stone grinding. Uh, beet uh, making different chutneys, uh, uh, crushing it under uh, stone. Or uh, any other thing like, let's say, a batter for idli or dosa. Stone grinding is uh, important. Why is it uh, important? Because the way ingredients behave with each process, uh, the unique flavor, taste, uh, that uh, is uh, something which is very different uh, from the other. Uh, for example, if I were to make a mint chutney in a mixer which has stainless steel blades, what it is doing? It is uh, actually cutting the leaves. But when I grind it with the stone, it's crushing it. Uh, the, the essential oil release is very different. The flavor profile is very different. And to make all this possible, you need uh, hard stone. But hard stone just by itself uh, would not work. A hard stone, uh, the hardest stone, unless it's uh, carved, unless uh, its uh, work has uh, been done to it, it does not turn into diamond. But for uh, chefs like us, these stones are turned into diamonds for us for making our cooking special. And it is all uh, done in different places. Uh, I'm here in Kashmir, and uh, the stone that is there, this is uh, very hard, but the people who make it all possible, they are so special. This is so tough. The chisel and the hammer, the precision with which they work, the time they spend, in chiseling each stone and make it a perfect piece for us chefs needs to be appreciated and preserved for life. People call them uh, workers, I call them artisans. They have been at it uh, for hundreds of years. Uh, it's family tradition which is getting lost. Modernization has taken uh, its toll and not always uh, for better. I want this to stay. I want our tradition to stay for as long as it can. But no matter what, no matter how long I have to wait, no matter how uh, far I have to travel, uh, but I will be there with them to support them and promote them.